Hey guys and welcome to another video. I am Zafira and today I'm doing something I haven't done in a long time, which is a cosplay video. I am showing you how I made my Bellatrix Lestrange cosplay from Harry Potter. If you like to see more cosplay videos or figure videos, which we mostly do, please let us know in the comments, subscribe to our channel and help us reach 1000 subscribers. But now let's get into the video. Okay, so I am starting off with cutting out my pieces. For this, I use clothes that have a similar shape to her dress and transfer them onto my fabric. For the base, I am using a light and flowy black fabric. After cutting out the top pieces, I am doing a first try-on and adjust them further to the supposed shape they need to be. The neckline needs to be more V-shaped and the sides could use a little tightening. That's how the top pieces look after the adjustments. Next up, I am creating the sleeves. It was quite tricky and I needed a couple of tries to get the shape right. Now that I have all of the pattern pieces ready, I am transferring them onto my see-through chiffon fabric. After looking closely at reference pictures of her dress, I noticed that it almost looks like it has a special spiral pattern all over the fabric. So I decided to recreate this by using textile markers and paint the pattern all over the whole dress. This was an absolute pain in the ass and it looks a bit like too much, but when the chiffon fabric is placed over it later, it actually looks really nice. Now it's time to sew. First thing I did was a gathering stitch on the chest to get the ruching she has on her front piece. Then I was sewing both fabrics together. The good thing about her dress is that it has a lot of raw edges, so no need for perfect seam lines. But since I didn't want them to fringe too much, I sealed them with a lighter. This only works on synthetic fabrics though, so be careful when trying this. Now it was time for another try on. I already put in a zipper on the side, but still needed to adjust the length of my shoulder straps. After I did this, it was time to finish the pattern. For this I used a special silver 3D paint, which gives a cool and unique look that captures the vibes of Bellatrix's dress. Putting in the eyelets on the sleeves and the dress for the lacing was another painful job and took quite some time. I used kind of a thick string for both sleeves and shoulders but later decided to change the shoulder part with a much thinner string. The last missing piece was the underbust corsage. I kept closely to the reference pictures and cut out the different pieces out of faux leather. To keep track of them I put numbers on each piece and took a photo so I could recheck which piece goes where. After punching in the holes in each piece, I tied them together with a thin waxed string. To make this process easier, I wrapped the edges of the string with duct tape. For the wand holster, I roughly repeated the same process. What I haven't mentioned yet is that my faux leather was a dark brown which I needed to recolor. I did that with simple acrylic paint and that actually worked surprisingly well. Now it's time for the wig. I bought a simple curly lace front wig off of Amazon, but the color wasn't quite right. So I used eye dye poly, which is a special color for PVC, to recolor it. Since this color smells horrible and can make a big mess, I suggest you use it either outside like I did, or with windows wide open and wearing a mask. I just followed the instructions, but tried it with a small strand of hair first, since I haven't used it on a wig before. When dyeing lace front wigs, it is important not to dye the lace, so I kept it out of the pot. Luckily, the hair close to the roots was the right color, so that was no problem at all. After a couple of minutes in the pot, I was satisfied with the result and cleansed the wig with clean water and let it air dry in the sun. Remember, the color really smells horrible, so I suggest washing it afterwards with a suitable shampoo to get rid of the smell. Here you can see a before and after and I think it looks much better now. Time for styling the wig. I am absolutely no pro when it comes to wig styling, but I think it doesn't need to be perfect and just needs to have the Bellatrix vibes. So what I did was teasing the middle parts to get more volume because my wig actually is really thin. To keep the puffiness of the hair in shape, I hot glued the pieces in place. Not something I usually would do or recommend, but I really wanted to keep the hair in place as much as possible. With the rest of the styling, I just winked it a little bit and I think it looks fine. For her grey hair strand, I simply used a white colored hairspray. The styling overall may not be perfect, but I think you can see Bellatrix in here. Yeah. 
And here we have the final result of my whole cosplay. I am quite happy with how it turned out overall, but what do you think? If you want to see more cosplay related videos, let me know in the comments and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching!